Welcome to Positive Vibes Only, the podcast dedicated to uplifting your spirits and infusing your life with positivity. I'm your host, Mike Lanham, and together we'll explore the power of optimism, gratitude, and kindness in creating a brighter, more fulfilling existence. What's up, guys, and welcome to episode five. Episode 5 of Positive Vibes Only with your boy, me, Mike Lana. You know, before I begin this podcast, I just want to thank all of you listeners. I want to thank everybody for listening. Um, only my fifth episode, and I'm getting a lot of responses, a lot of positive feedback. Positive feedback, because that's what I'm all about. I'm all about positivity. And just creating a positive life and hoping that my experiences can relate to anyone that's went through the same thing. Or I want my experiences to help those out who who, who needs help or just needs someone to, you know, they just know, want to know that, you know, they're not the only ones going through something. Um and we can all create a positive light together. And I just want to thank you all for listening. Uh, most praises. Uh, I'm getting a lot of feedback. Um, good response. Good response. And a lot of, well, all of my podcasts, like I just said, is from, you know, just stuff I've been through personally. And, you know, the one thing I talk about in my podcast is, you know, self-care, self-help, and we all deal with a lot of things, and we all have ways in which we um, go through our personal growth and different creative things that we do in order to stay on track and keep continue to grow, keep continuing to grow personally. Um, and you know, that's the reason why I started this podcast, started this podcast, uh, you know, per- personal growth and, you know, always trying to build myself and make myself a better person, uh, cause it's all in the mind. And I'm going to talk about that later as I dive into this podcast. Um, and basically today I just want to talk about ways you can deal with your past. I'm not going to tell you how to deal with your past because we've all been through something very different in our past lives. Um, we've all we've all been through trauma. You know, some people's been through worse trauma. Some people have has been through, you know, not that much trauma. Uh, you know, we've all have been through something, and it can be something little. You know, it doesn't have to be nothing big. You know, maybe maybe you've experienced something in the past where, uh, you know, you just had that person, uh, such as bullying. You know, if you had a bully in your past, you know, you'll never forget that bully. You'll never forget that face. You you'll never forget what happened to you, and of course, it it has affected you. You know, through time and your cautious of how you interact with people you don't build relationships uh the way that you think that you should you you know you have this fear this fear and you know i just want to talk about you know just some of the ways that you can deal with you know your past and hopefully it'll help you move on and hopefully it'll help you uh have a different mindset about what your future could look like because you no one knows what our future is going to look like but uh Hopefully, what the things uh, that I will talk about today could guide you in the right direction. Um, hopefully, help you out because you know overcoming your past. As I said, I mean it, it is a it's a broad subject, a very broad subject. Um, and there's so much you could talk about when it comes to past. And I and I don't want to go any any into any specifics when it comes to dealing with stuff that you have dealt with cuz like I said we've all dealt with different kind of situations and our pain is different. Our pain is very different. You know, and as I always do in my podcast, you know, I've been through a lot myself, you know, personally uh 
went through something in my lifetime uh, in the past where, you know, it, it, it dealt with, you know, a relationship I was in. And, you know, getting over that relationship and going through what I went through and the uh, heartbreak and, you know, everything, you know, you we've all been in those situations, most of us. I can't speak for everybody, but, you know, it's a tough situation to, to be in, especially when, you, when you're with someone for a very long time and it just doesn't work out. So... I was at a point where I would never forget the past. You know, the past would haunt me. And, you know, with me, as uh, as far as you guys know, I drove trucks. And, you know, I, w- I would always think about the things I did. What could I have done different? I mean, it, it would just haunt me. You know, the past, it, it, it never went away. It never went away. And uh, being in a semi-truck, like I said before, you know, I used to drive trucks over the road we're in like this box you know it almost feels like you're in jail for the most part you know and I've been to jail before so I can say that but uh <laughs> I mean there's nothing like jail don't get me wrong now I'm just talking about the space it's a small space and when you're in a small space like that it's hard to put your mind on different things uh as truck drivers we're always doing the same thing we wake up we eat we drive we sleep we wake up again, drive, eat, sleep. I mean, we do the same thing. And when you're going through something in your life and you're in such a small space, no one to talk to, I mean, it, it could haunt you. It could, it could tear you up on the inside. Um, and it's a process. It takes a process when you're going towards that personal growth and you're trying to build yourself up, forget the past, and you're trying to move on. And, you know, I can say that I am personally growing. You know, as a person, uh, mentally, you know, it doesn't happen overnight. It takes years. You know, the stuff that the, the thing that I went through was years ago. It was years ago. And, you know, as I talk about it now, it does not affect me not one bit. If you if I was talking about this uh, years back, three, three, four years back, whatever, by, yeah, you would have had probably a different response, more of an, an emotional, uh, <laughs> emotional downfall type, like a like you know this guy is hurting, you know, and so, but there are ways that you can deal with your past, and like I said, we all go through different things. We all have been through like terrible trauma. I've, I know some people, you know, that's that's been through it, that has gotten taken advantage of, you know, when they were younger. And, you know, that's just something that you just never forget. Um, and I'm not telling anybody to forget. You can't forget it because it's always going to be there. But you can always move on and get to a point in your life where it, it just it doesn't affect you emotionally like it used to. And, you know... It that all comes with just personal growth and dealing with things with a certain mindset because you can't have the same mindset for too long. You can't have that 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 same mindset and 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 of course it is about moving on, but it's a process. Uh, I I hate to say just move on or moving on because you you can't move on from anything like that, but you can grow. And there's a lot of ways that you can grow and become the person who you want to be, who you're trying to be, without being held back from things that are attacking you or keeping you on a hold emotionally and physically. Because, you know, our mental health can can affect our physical health, and it could go in many different ways for many different Many different people. Many. I mean, it, it, we, we 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 all have different experiences, very difficult experiences, uh, when we let, you know, our mind wander and we stay stuck in one place. But, like I said, I'm not gonna go into anything, and I don't want to say in depth with the topic because our experiences are so different. I just. 
I'm here to just tell you ways that helped me and maybe it can help you too. And I hope it can help you too. Um, so overcoming these challenges and overcoming these traumas, as I said, is a part of personal growth. And there are strategies, there are ways to help you improve that growth and over, <coughs> excuse me, overcoming your past. Um, and I'm just going to name a few ways, you know, and I hope it helps you out. Um, and a lot of these ways that I'm about to mention, as I said, it helped me out when it comes to self-compassion, taking care of yourself, uh, forgiveness, um, and just anything to inspire you to change your mindset in, in a more positive way. Anybody that knows me know I'm very optimistic. Very optimistic. You know, when trouble comes my way nowadays, uh, you know, I look at the glass half full rather than half empty. And yes, I may be worried along with you. Sometimes I don't show it. But in my mind, hey, there's always a brighter side to it. And I'm 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 going for the best outcome. That's that's how I see it. I don't stay stuck in the negative mindset as you know, something bad is going to happen because something most of the time something bad will happen and you're ready for something bad to happen. No, I want I'm preparing myself and my energy and my mind and my thought process that something good is going to happen and it's going to happen. I don't know when it's going to happen, but it's going to happen. I'm very optimistic. Let's start with the first thing, though, when it comes to ways that you can get over your not ways that you can overcome your past. One thing is to acknowledge it. You have to acknowledge your past. You have to recognize and accept those events and those experiences that has happened in your life. You know, the trauma that you went through, everything you went through, you have to acknowledge it and you just have to accept it for what happened because you can't change it. We don't have a time machine. You can't go back and you can't change the events that happened in your life. But you can acknowledge it. It happened. And depending on the situation, you know, you don't want to blame yourself. A lot of people do that. Don't blame yourself. Depending on the situation, don't blame yourself for what happened. Now, there are some instances where, yes, it's your fault. You know, and, 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 and speaking on my personal, as I said before, what happened with me, yes, a lot of it was my fault. I take, I, I, I acknowledge that, yes, it was my fault. Some of the things I did, yes, it was definitely my fault. Hey, I take full ownership of that. You know, sometimes that's what you have to do. You have to own it and then acknowledge it and accept it. You may not forget it, but once you do those things, then you can start that personal growth. That's the whole part of that personal growth. Just acknowledge it because if you don't acknowledge it and you don't, you know, create that mindset you, you don't accept it you're going to prolong that personal growth process and there's no time limit to it there's nothing wrong with it being prolonged it it has its, it has its effects on you but the more you stick with it and stay stuck without accepting it and acknowledging it the process just takes longer. But you will get through it. You will get through it. And that's all you have to do is just acknowledge and accept it. That's, I think that's the first thing that you should do. Another way is to seek support. Now, therapy is good for everybody. There's no, you could be in the best situation in your life. You st I feel like people still need therapy. Um... And I got this from, you know, I listen to The Breakfast Club all the time. Uh, Charlemagne, he always speaks on mental health. And, you know, he's real. He's a big inspiration uh, when it comes to to thinking positive and, and, and controlling your mental health. Because, you know, our brains are computers. They're pretty much computers. Everything is a mind thing and how we react to certain situations and how we move in this in this life that we've created for ourselves. But he always speaks on the mental and 
um, he always says, you know, and I agree, no matter how good your life is going, it's always good to talk to somebody. Therapy. Now, the one thing, I think I had a conversation the other day, uh, when it comes to your friends. Now, we got friends out there. I don't recommend talking to some of your friends. I'm not going to say all of them. There are some friends out there that has been through the same situation that you have been in. And they've created that personal growth for themselves. They've, they've went through the process. They, they have took, taken those steps. And they can actually give you some good advice. They can tell you ways that they you know, were able to move on and were able to continue their journey in life in a positive way. You know, but the friends that that has not been through the situation, uh, you know, I don't agree with the with, with, with going to them only because, you know, they're going to tell you what you want to hear. They're going to say, oh, it'll be all right. Uh, just move on. You'll be fine. You know, they'll tell you stuff like that because they haven't been through it themselves, but they're your friend and they want to make sure you're OK. And they don't know what to say for the most part. They feel sorry for you, but they can't relate. You know, if they can't relate, then, you know, it's not going to make you feel any better. It's just for somebody that, that's listening and for somebody for you to talk to. Now, a therapist is, is totally different. They they don't know your situation, but they are trained and they went, you know, they've mastered different situations. Uh, and they were they they would be able to have you answer your own questions in a way in a therapeutic good way if that makes any sense so they won't be biased a lot of our friends will be biased depending on the situation um and sometimes it could be of, of no help you know uh but you know a trained professional they are not biased cuz they don't know you like that they don't know you personally they did they they know they know the situation uh, and they can give you pointers, hints, whatever, based off of what they've learned, the mastery, you know, of what they do, because that is what they do. And, you know, not all of us see a therapist, you know, but that is a way of support <clears throat> that you can get. Me, personally, um, I didn't seek therapy. Not a professional therapist, I would say that. I did have a good friend that went through the same thing I went through, an uh, older friend back in the day. Talk, talk to him. And he'd been through it, and, I, I, and he put me in the right direction, told me some words of wisdom, and it was good. You know, I took that and I ran with it, and, you know, it, things started gradually being different. <clears throat> My actions changed, and I, <laughs> I, I changed my thought process. Uh, I stopped being an a-hole, uh, which I was. But, you know, that was my therapy. And then I moved on to self-therapy and, you know, started reading more and listening to certain podcasts, listening to certain preachers, uh, you know, just anything to get my mind going in the right direction. And of course, in the beginning, it's hard. It's not that easy. I've, I, 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 you know, there were times where I've started doing that and I've backtracked because there are triggers out there. Them triggers can hold you back. You know, you see a trigger, all that work that you done did for yourself is over with. For the for the time being, it's over with. And then now, now you're back to square one, and you have to rebuild. I've rebuilt several times and I'm still still going through personal growth because nobody's perfect I'm not perfect at all I'm still going through personal growth I'm still learning more uh, I feel like the stuff I probably should have learned back in the day or you know you would think okay you know that growth if this growth would have happened at this time or that time whatever you know I feel like I'm catching up and I'm still learning. I feel like I got more to learn. And 
I'm at a point now where I'm seeking knowledge uh, and always trying to learn different things about myself, you know, and think outside the box and just try and do new things, just trying something different. You know, that's the whole reason why I started this podcast. That's the exact reason why I started this podcast. Because uh, I'm not a, I'm not a good writer. I'm not the type to write a journal or anything like that, or even a diary. I tried, but it just doesn't work for me. And I feel like I get more out when I'm doing things that I'm doing now, such as this, this podcast. Um, but it's always good to seek support. Any support you may have, you can join a support group. Uh, they have groups out there, you know, where you can talk about your situation. Uh, always good to hang around people, as I said, that's been through it. And you can go on that journey along with them, even if they're in the same spot that you're in. Um, so support groups are good. And they're also good because there's no judgment. You know, people like to judge folks these days and... That's one thing I stopped doing. I used to do that a lot, you know, and and I'm finding myself to not do that so much and not judge people because you don't know where people has, you don't know where people have come from. You don't know what they've been through. You don't know anything about some, some people. You, you may think you know them, but you don't, you know, a lot of people with uh, a bad past, a lot of them hold it in and it doesn't come out until something drastic happens or the trigger effect or whatever. So you can't judge anybody. I don't care what situation you're in. You can't judge anybody. And that's why the support groups are good. You know, they don't judge. You'll be comfortable. Uh, you know, a counselor, therapist, support group, all these things are good for support. Anything that works for you, um, and it's best to do what works for you and not works for anybody else because we're all different. You can't do what somebody else does. You can listen. You know, I've had a lot of people say, hey, Mike, you should do this. You should do that. You should do this. You know, if I can do it and I feel comfortable doing it, I'll do it. But I love the advice. Thanks for the advice. Um, it was helping, but, you know, I kind of move on to something that I feel comfortable doing and something that generates this energy within me to keep 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 it moving uh, and to keep my mind busy. Uh, self-compassion. This is number three. Practice your self-compassion. You got to be gentle with yourself. You got to be, I think I said this in my last podcast, you got to treat yourself as if, uh, the same way you treat your best friend. You know, if you got a best friend out there, you know, you're going to, you don't want to lose your friend. You're going to be real with your friend. If anything, you're going to be real with your friend. You're not going to beat around the bush. You're not going to fake it till you make it. And that's what friends are for. You're going to tell your friend it is, you're going to tell your friend how it is. They, they could be eating anything. They're gaining weight, but they are always eating Hey, that's your friend. You better tell them to put them chips down and and pick up a bowl of salad. See, other people that's not friends, you know, they'll talk about you behind your back. They ain't going to say it to you. But a, but a true friend will let you know something about yourself that's, that's not going right or not right. or Whether they agree or disagree, hey, that's your friend. And that's how you got to treat yourself. You got to treat yourself like, like you treat your best friend. Like, you got to take care of yourself. If you feel like, uh, you know, you got a habit that you got to stop, you know, just, you know, find a way to stop it. It may not be easy. You go at your own pace. But you got to find a way to stop that habit. And <clears throat> before it affects you, uh, especially your health. Whether that be drugs, whether that be... Uh, Depression, because depression can also affect you. Uh, I mean, you gotta, you gotta take care of yourself. I mean, point blank, you just have to take care of yourself. Self compassion. That's another step to personal growth, into not dealing with what happened in the past. Because, like I said, and I'll keep saying it, you'll never forget what happened. 
But there are ways and there are many ways you can move on and you can progress to personal growth and not let it affect you the way it has. So the next thing, uh, let's see here. Excuse me, had to had a cough there. You had to forgive yourself. And forgive others. Forgiveness. Forgiveness is key. Now, this is tough. It's tough to talk about forgiveness. And I've learned this just from talking to people that has been through something in the past. It's very tough to talk about forgiveness. You know, some people wait years and years and years to forgive someone for whatever happened to them in the past. And it's not easy. It is definitely not easy. You know, I know someone close to me. It took them years to, to forgive someone that created a trauma in their past. It took them years. It took them years, and they would always bring it up, and you know it's affecting them. And, you know, it's just hard to forgive someone. But that's a step. That's probably one of the biggest steps is forgiveness. If someone's done something to you in the past, now, like I said, there's no time limit on it. No one's asking you to forgive them tomorrow. It's a process. A lot of people don't understand that it is a process. I mean, you have to build your way up to that. You have to be in a zone. You have to be in a mindset. You have to, you have to be right with yourself first, you know, in order to forgive someone that hurts you really, really bad. But I think that is the biggest, the biggest thing. And you have to forgive yourself. You know, you can forgive that other person, but you have to forgive yourself. Like I said, you got to treat yourself like a best friend. You know, there's no time limit, but all the stuff you put yourself through, you know, the the depression and, 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 and everything, you know, not saying it was your fault, but you hadn't gotten to that place where you was you was ready to start that personal growth, even though you wanted to. But, you know, it's nothing wrong with forgiving yourself. Like, you know, this happened, but I forgive myself for putting myself through certain things, you know, like uh, I, uh, an example would probably be drinking. I mean, a lot of people go through stuff in their life and they drink to kind of block it out, to to numb the pain, as they say. And some people drink themselves to death. And it's not good. And that's something you can, once you start that personal growth, you know, the forgiveness, and you get to that step, hey, you just forgive yourself for putting your body through all of that because of, your reaction towards something that happened in the past and how you felt. It's always good to forgive yourself. You'll feel a whole lot better. You'll feel you'll feel really good if if you forgave yourself. And I, I, I guarantee you will feel good. It took me, talking about my situation, bringing that back, it took me some time to forgive myself because I didn't want to blame myself. You know, we all go through that, you know, we... we we didn't we want to blame others for our actions and we don't want to blame ourselves and it it took some time for me to you know say hey well you know a lot of the things i did was my fault it was my fault you know and like i said this happened years ago things happened years ago with my situation but at the same i mean at i'm at a point now where I, i've owned up to it you know I blame myself for everything or some of the things that I've done and my actions and I apologize to myself for acting the way I did and I do and we all can do that I apologize and I forgive myself because I don't want to keep thinking about oh how I acted and you know I did this and I did that Because it'll just prolong the growth process. It'll prolong it, like I said before. 
So you have to get to that point where you forgive yourself and you have to forgive others. Forgiveness is key. Once you forgive, once you have that self-compassion, once you've acknowledged the past, the next thing you have to do is cope with it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Coping with the strategies of how you're going to deal with it. You got to you got to create like a daily routine for yourself. And a daily routine is is, is just things that you do to not even think of the past or like I said, you'll never forget it, but there's things you can do, like like staying busy. I like to stay busy. You know, it's like uh, when something sits too long, you know how the bacteria grows on it? Or if it, if it stays in a certain place for too long, such as like your basement or your attic, you got the cobwebs, start the, the, the spiders start crawling and all this other stuff. You know, it comes a time where you got to dust that dust off. The dust them built up for way too long. You know, them cobwebs, you got to wipe them cobwebs off. You got to do what you can. You got to cope with it. You got to, you got to, you got to start coping with your new strategies to keep that dust from coming back, to keep from them cobwebs from building back up. Exercise. A lot of people do journaling. A lot of people do podcasting. A lot of people go on hikes. You know, there's adventurous folk out there. I like to go fishing when I get a chance. That's an away moment for me. That keeps my mind busy. I'm busy. I'm always, I'm the type that always tries to find something to do. I don't care what it is. I got a lawnmower out front right now. Thing don't even work. But because of my mindset, I don't just let it sit there. I try different ways to make that thing work as much as I can. I, the other day, I took the carburetor out. I cleaned it. Watched a little YouTube University. Cleaned out that carburetor. Changed the fuel. Still don't work. Changed the filter. Tried all kind of stuff. And I'm going to keep working that until that thing works. Because I've done it before. I've, I've had a lot more before, believe it or not. Wasn't working for a couple of months. I don't know. I kept messing with it turning it upside down, doing all kinds of stuff, and then that thing just started working. I, I was I was happy. But you got to stay busy. I'm always, my neighbors, my neighbors are uh, uh, moving. They didn't have no help. Do you know me? That's how I'm, I'm, I'm getting up quick. Hey, I'm going to help you. I move all this stuff myself. That's how busy of a person I want to stay, and that's how I am. I try to do more things at once. I do this podcast. You know, I might read a book. Stay busy. Don't be content. Because once you're content, especially if you dealt with something in your past, all that stuff is going to start building up. It's going to be hard to get over it because you're not really doing anything with yourself to grow. We, you got to keep growing. We would never stop growing. I don't care how much knowledge you know. I don't care all the experiences that you've been in, we will never stop growing because none of us are perfect. None of us are perfect. We all have the same brain physically, but mentally we do with our brain as we want to. We put stuff in our brain. We code our brain. However we want to code it, we, we think differently our experiences uh, affect how our brain works. I mean, we're all different. But you have to get into that mindset to where you want to continue to grow. And that could be anything. There's a lot of things that you can do to grow. You can, you can Google it. There's so many things that you can do to grow. Try something different. Think outside the box. Be creative. Which is a which is another way that you can overcome your past. It's another way to keep your mind busy, and that's being creative. Now, if you have kids, that's easy. It's so easy to be creative, especially if you have kids. I had my two youngest ones. They wanted to build a house out of a cardboard box. My youngest girl, she painted her whole box. 
I didn't help her that much, but I helped my uh, younger son choose the box. I'm, I'm like, hey, yeah, the roof, this should be the roof right here. Oh, yeah, this should be uh, the, the window. You know, it could be like a convertible. Bam. You know, when it came to the paint, when my youngest girl was painting, hey, this color looks this color looks nice right here. Try this color out. Why don't you paint the whole side up? I mean, in my mind, I'm being creative. I'm being as creative as it comes. I mean, and then, you know, kids do a lot of different creative things that you could do with them. There's so many creative things that you can do. But you got to stay creative. You got to keep your mind busy. And keeping your mind busy, yeah, keeping your mind busy and doing different, changing your daily routine. These are ways that you could deal with these difficult emotions and and live your daily life in a positive way. Next thing you want to do, or a different way that you can do, uh, you know, that'll help you is to set boundaries. That's I think that's another big thing, setting your boundaries. Sometimes you can't let everyone in, everyone in your life. You got to set boundaries with friends, family, uh with yourself. You know, if you feel like the energy or triggering energy may affect you in a certain environment, you got to take yourself out of that environment. Until you're able to control yourself, control your emotions. You got to set these boundaries to continue your path. It's like a one-way street. You got to put the boundaries on the side. Stay in that path. All the negative, everything that's coming, they can't get on the road right now because you got them boundaries set up. I think boundaries is the biggest key to progress because without the boundaries, It'll be tougher for the personal growth because you're gonna have you're not able to stop any of the the negative nonsense I guess you used to say or the triggers or you know you're gonna put yourself in a situation that you know you shouldn't be in but you put yourself there anyway you didn't create no boundary you're just there and you can easily backtrack start from square one again I mean you got to create the boundaries. Because the triggers ain't no joke. I can just tell you off experience, triggers are no joke. All it takes is one thought, one, one thing that triggers something from the past. And your emotions go through a whole circle, whole circus, a whole free-for-all. Your whole body is changing. Your movement change. <clears throat> your attitude changes. Like you just go through a roller coaster of emotions off of that one thought. And it's that's why you have to set boundaries because you have to move on from that one thought. It has to be to a point where that one thought doesn't affect you at all. You could be around a certain situation that has something to do with your past, but it doesn't affect you. You're good to go. Another thing we got to do is focus on the present. In the future, you can't focus on the past. It's harder to say, depending on your trauma. Like I said, I'm not going in specifics about different traumas and everything, but I know it is harder to say. But you have to work on it. It's a process. It's hard not to think of the past. So it's a process to get to that point where you you can't think of the past. Let's think about today. Let's think about what's happening now. We don't know what the future holds. It may not even be a tomorrow. So let's think about the present. So that way, whatever the future may hold would be a different, would be positive. Whatever you do today affects what happens tomorrow. God willing that there is a tomorrow, whatever you do today affects what happens tomorrow. And so, based off of those ways that you can hopefully overcome, which you will, based off of those ways, now all you got to do is stay patient. 
and be persistent. Once you have your daily routine, once you've acknowledged the past, once you've forgiven, now you create a daily routine. Something that you do every day that keeps you keeps you on that straight path. And you have to be patient. Because it's not going to happen overnight. As I said before, it takes years for someone to forgive someone. It takes years for you to acknowledge your past. It takes years for each and every way I mentioned. It could take years for people to do this stuff. It could take years to seek help. But whenever you start, you got to be patient. Because it does not happen overnight. You got to deal with your emotions. This is all about personal growth. You have to deal with it, accept it, and learn how to control it. So that way you can have a positive future, a positive life, without being hunted by your past. And then you got to celebrate every progression because, as I said, we're always growing as people. We're always growing. So each achievement, each accomplishment that you have, I don't care what it is. You may have went a month on your daily routine. That's something to celebrate. You created a daily routine and you're doing it. Like you're doing a celebrate. Celebrate yourself. Thank yourself. You've forgiven yourself, now thank yourself and celebrate. No matter how small the, the, the celebration is, no, you want to celebrate every step of your progress in overcoming your past. You have to. You got to celebrate. It's a good feeling when you celebrate. And with that being said, just remember, I mean, all of our journey is unique. Everyone has a different journey, and it's all unique in our own ways. We can't be like anyone else. We can only be ourselves. All of our journeys are unique. And as I say, there's no one-size-fits-all when it comes to overcoming your past. No one-size-fits-all because we're all different. And I hope that these ways have helped someone that might be going through something or might be going through it. Just know that it's going to be okay. It is going to be okay. Everything's going to work out for you. You're going to be the best person that you can be. You're going to be very prosperous. You're going to be rich in soul, rich in happiness. You ain't going to be rich in money. You're going to be rich in energy. Your energy is going to be rich. You're going to feel good about yourself. Positive vibes only. But make sure you do with these ways, these techniques. Do what's best for you and no one else. You have to do what's best for you and only you. Because you can't help, you can't, you can't help other people, you can't be yourself around other people until you help yourself. It's all about helping yourself. Once you help yourself, it's just up and running from there. You'll just keep building because it's never going to stop. Just keep building. Personal growth never stops. Just keep building. And I want to thank you all for listening to this episode of Ways to Overcome Your Past. Um... Once again, I want to thank all my listeners. Again, I appreciate all you that's, that's that has listened to my podcast. I thank you so much. Uh, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, at Mike Lana. You can reach out to me if you have any questions or anything like that. Hey, I'm willing to talk to everybody. I don't care what the situation is. If you need words of wisdom, you need a prayer, I'm here for you. But I thank you guys for listening. Tune in for the next episode. And you guys have a great and blessed and wonderful day. Peace, guys. I'm out.